you know, we sit here every day, and I was, I'm wondering, gonna, hey, what's happening? I did take a walk in the sunshine, blue skies, whatnot, and so forth. Thinking about this weekend, we're gonna put my mama to rest this weekend. We're gonna put her in the ground, home going Sarah's. I'm a little sad about that. I love that woman. But I think about all the people that are still living who are, they might as well be in the ground too. Because they're wasting their lives. They're, they're scared. They're, they're afraid or something. I don't know what it is, but basically their lives are, they're meaningless. They're pointless. They wake up every single day and they go to the same job, take the same route, come home the same way. Never get nothing done. They never chase the pee. That's what I like to call it. I, you're chasing the wrong pee. When I say chase the pee, I, I, I know some of you might think sexually, but I'm not. I'm saying chase the passion. Some of you are chasing the pee, but the pee you're chasing is position. You're trying to get at the head of the job. You're trying to get to the top. Trying to get all that money. Ain't nothing wrong with money. It's a beautiful thing. It's the love of it that's the problem. You're trying to get all that money. You're trying to get that position. You're trying to get the big fancy car and the big fancy house. And I would try to do the same thing too. I've done it before. I've had the houses, the cars, the money. But one thing I couldn't find after I got all that, I couldn't find a U-Haul that could take it to heaven. It's just gonna stay here. No matter what car you buy, what house you buy, where you live or what you do, it's all gonna stay here when you're gone. So chase the passion. Chase the dream. Don't chase the position. Position means nothing. All it is is just once you get to the position, you, you got people who are trying to take it away from you. And some of you, are, you, you, you're chasing property just so you can pay the government more money. And, and some of you are chasing power. But you can't handle the power. It, it gets too great because everybody starts looking for you and trying to bring you down. Chase the passion. Chase the promise. God has a promise for you. Try to get to the promise of God. Chase, chase the principle. Principle of righteousness. You want to chase something? Chase something that can go with you and be with you long after you're here. Chase a legacy. Yeah. I got an F word for you too. Freedom. Chase freedom. Being free is the most important thing in this world, other than knowledge, freedom. Because I think those are the two things God has given us unconditionally, is knowledge and freedom, or the ability to obtain either one, or both. But see, we trade off knowledge for power. We trade off knowledge for, for fancy clothes and, and, and big things. We trade knowledge off for hanging out, for, one of, for, for not really caring. We, we, we trade our freedom for living in a big gated community. Hell, prison's a gated community if you think about it. We trade our freedom and we trade off knowledge for the things that are not going to last. But knowledge and freedom is why we are here. Life, the tree of life, the tree of knowledge. He ate the fruit, might as well get the knowledge. Might as well know what good and evil is, he ate it. We're going to die anyhow. Learn to chase what will be here long after you pass. That will have your name on it. Not a bank statement. Your name. Don't die in debt. Because <laughs> you're going to die in life. <laughs> Talking about you only live once. No, nigga, you only die once. You can live forever. 